Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts. Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy is very well rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. So here's the combat sambo master, the Dagestan native Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's really been remarkable what he's been able to accomplish in the UFC. Came in with some hype, and largely Joe has lived up to it every step of the way, working his way towards an eventual UFC lightweight championship fight. Most people believe on any given Saturday night, we are staring at the most dominant 155 pound fighter in the world. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 26 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. You ready to fight? Ready. And we are underway. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. All right, first round is underway, and no surprise that his opponent's guard is high. He has done his homework. He has watched film. You know about these powerful overhand punches, a big part of his game plan every time out. We'll see if he can get it going here early in this one. Excellent movement here on the ground. Nurmagomedov going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. They're canceling each other out. 
Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Excellent sweep. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. You saw the wince. Oh, he continues to attack now. Joe might have an armbar. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the armbar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up. Then he wants to scoot his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his opponent's face, then sit back, break the grip, extend his body. Well, he's the the defense there. Completely lost the position. Side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Fighters back to their feet here. Nurmago Medov's worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. He gets the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, nice work with the knees to the body here in the clinch. What a beautiful trip. He's in half guard here. Full mount. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nurmago Meta. Oh, and Do the fight is it? over. TKO. Very impressive. TKO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself. Too many big shots get through, and that's the end of the fight. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Exciting flurry at the end of this fight. It was the one big strike that started it all, dropped the opponent, led to that knockdown, and ultimately created the opening to jump in and force the stoppage. Referee made the right call stepping in here. We could see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again, ground and pound for the TKO finish. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 52 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Habib So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who is going to be even more dominant than he already is now. The eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting his